Hi, I'm Darius Carlson, and this is Vlogs of History After Hours. If you're unfamiliar with me or my channel, I do have a show called Vlogs of History where we take a look at historical events every single Monday. And this After Hours is sort of an extension to that show where we take a subject from that week's episode and dive a little more in depth and in detail. This week, if you've missed it, we've covered Expo 67. I'll leave a link right here. You can check it out. And what we're talking about in the After Hours episodes is something linked to the Casino of Montreal. Now, the Casino of Montreal, two out of the three pavilions were built during the Expo 67, and thus you have the link to this week's video. Now, the story is of a man named Daniel Carivo, who single-handedly, in one night, took $620,000 from the casino's hands, legally. How did he do it? He did it while playing Kino, a game where you have 80 numbers that are picked randomly, and you get to choose your own 20 numbers, up to 20, and the more numbers you have that match the game's outcome, well, the more winnings you have. And Daniel Carivo, he recognized a pattern. He recognized that the same numbers were being generated day in and out, every single day. And so he decided to try his luck, and he actually won. 19 out of the 20 numbers that he picked, he got them right three times in a row. Now, the odds of that are practically zero. And so the casino authorities immediately, they shut down the game, and they took Mr. Carivo for interrogations. They interrogated him. They saw that he had no connection within somebody working for the casino, and thus it wasn't an inside job or anything like that, and it was all legitimate. I mean, he really did not do anything wrong. He just predicted the outcome. So a few days later, they, he, they actually gave him a check of $620,000. Now, how did this happen? How did it work? Well, it turns out that the Kino game at the Casino of Montreal was being offered in two versions. It was being offered in a mechanical version and in an electronic version. Now the electronic version was operated by a computer chip. This computer chip would generate random numbers, a very large sequence of random numbers, out of which they would be picked for the Kino game. And so the way that worked was you give you had to give this computer chip a starting number and based off of that starting number, it would generate the next number and then it would do some more calculations on that number and generate the next one and so on until it builds a sequence. The thing with that is, for one, if you don't have a starting number, well, it just doesn't work. It absolutely needs a starting number. And for two, if you have the same starting number every single time, it would give you the same sequence every single time because it's making the same calculations all the time. So that was the problem. But this computer chip was also used in Nevada at the same time successfully and it was proven to be very reliable. What was the difference? Well, in Nevada, the casinos were open 24-7. And although Montreal's casino right now is open 24-7, at the time, in 1994, when this happened, it wasn't open 24-7. It would close at night and it would reopen during the morning. Because of this, the machines would also close at night and be opened in the morning to save electricity. And each time the machine would reopen, it would reopen with the same starting number. And nobody noticed this. It wasn't until Daniel Corriveau, who was recording his victories and the winning numbers, he saw that there was a pattern. And he decided to try his luck and he actually won. Now, because of this, the casino actually shut down the electronic Kino game and hasn't reopened it to this day. But it still remains something very interesting to see how one man, just being observant, he managed to predict and actually win 620000 legally. I mean, the casino, even though they did not want to give him the money, I mean, who would, you know? It was still a fault on their part and there was nothing they could do. They, had, they legally had to give him the money because he had won it legally. And I found this very interesting and I wanted to share this with you on the Vlogs of History After Hours. If you've enjoyed it, leave a like, share it to a friend, and subscribe to be notified when the next one comes out. Remember, I have the Vlogs of History normal show that comes out every single Monday, and I do have this show that comes out every single Wednesday. That way, there's not that much time in between, and so the information is still fresh in your mind. Next week, we're covering Las Vegas, so be sure to stay tuned because that's going to be a very interesting episode. And it's somewhat linked to this one because we're also talking about the casino here. And we're also talking about something that's very close to my heart, the Casino of Montreal, which is in Montreal, where I currently live and have grown up ever since I was a little kid. And so this really touches my heart along with the Expo 67 episode. Once again, if you've missed the Expo 67 episode, be sure to check it out. It's one of my best. It's the, one of the ones I'm most proud of and I put the most work into. So it, it would really mean a lot if you check that out for me. With that being said, I'm your host, Darius Coslin. It's been an absolute pleasure, and I will see you all next week.